guys welcome to audrey's reading area you know i'm live at five and so here i am alexa what time is audrey's reading area audrey reads in her area live at five o'clock p.m all right all right all right <laughs> all right welcome 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 you guys i hope you had a great weekend Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me here. Don't forget to click that like button and click that share button. Then go on over to YouTube and <laughs> pound, smack, smash, punch that subscribe button for me. Go ahead. Thank you. Now, I have a, today's fun day Monday. And so, you know, I'm already having fun. Can you tell? Can you tell? Yes. This is Lady. And this is uh, posing in for the tramp. <laughs> I won't tell you that's really Toto from the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Standing in for Tramp because I don't have a Tramp doll, but I got Lady. Look at Lady. She is just too cute. Holding a slipper in her mouth. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Shout out to my grandbabies whom I miss so much. Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. I miss you guys. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again. So, Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Walt Disney's. This is a little golden book. So I got Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. My dog kind of looks more like this one, huh? Don't pay it no mind. He's filling in for Tramp. This is Lady. This is the Tramp. We are going to dive right into this book. Dive right in. Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Can you see it? Can you see? Okay. Um, I watched the movie quite a bit as a young one, as when I was young. And it's an absolutely beautiful movie. It's adapted by Teddy Slater and it's illustrated by Bill Langley and Ron Diaz. Lady in the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. Lady was a lucky little cocker spaniel. That's the type of dog that Lady is. She had everything a dog could want. Her beloved owners, Jim Deere and Darling, had pampered her since puppyhood. They gave her the tastiest tidbits to eat and the softest bed to sleep in. And they showered her with affection. Lady returned this kindness by waking her master each morning with a gentle lick on the cheek. And while he was at work, Lady stayed close to her mistress, protecting her from possible harm. Mm -hmm. But one day everything changed. As Lady told her friends, Trusty and Jock, Darling now seemed more interested in the tiny sweater she was knitting than in her faithful friend. Uh oh. Lady's pals quickly put two and two together and figured out that Darling was going to have a baby. Babies are mighty sweet, trusty the, blound, the bloodhound said, and very, very soft, Jock the Scotty added. Why, a wee babe is nothing but a bundle of trouble. An unfamiliar voice chimed in. The voice belonged to a scruffy stranger named Tramp. A scruffy stranger named Tramp. Though Tramp had no family of his own, he seemed to know quite a lot about babies and none of it was good. Take it from me, Pigeon, Tramp told Lady. A human heart has only so much room for love and affection. When a baby moves in, the dogs move out. Scary here, huh? Although Tramp's wor words worried Lady, she couldn't believe that her family would ever be unkind. And once the baby was born, Lady saw just how wrong Tramp had been. For not only did Lady still have her family's love, she now had one more person to cherish and protect. Aww. <laughs> 
Everything was fine until Jim Deere and Darling decided to take a short vacation. Don't worry, old girl, Jim Deere told Lady before they left. Aunt Sarah will be staying here to care for you and the baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at her face. Okay. Aunt Sarah. <laughs> but Aunt Sarah soon made it clear that she did not like dogs at all. Mm. To make matters worse, she had brought her two nasty cats along. Lady watched helplessly as they wrecked the living room and terrorized the goldfish and the birds. When the cats headed upstairs, however, Lady sprang into action. She raced ahead to stop them from entering the nursery. The nasty creatures tried to run by her, but Lady stopped them in their tracks with a threatening growl. <sighs> That's what I, I can imagine. <laughs> She's not playing that. You're not getting, baby. Aunt Sarah heard the commotion and poked her head out of the nursery. She took one look at Lady growling at the two cats sniveling and she ran to protect her pets. Oh, my precious pusses, she crooned and scooping the cats up in her arms, she carried them gently downstairs. Then Aunt Sarah dragged Lady off to the pet store. I want a muzzle for this vicious beast, she told the sales clerk. I have just the thing, the clerk replied placing one of the awful contraptions over the struggling, ooh, struggling dog's face, trying to struggle to get that thing off. In desperation, poor lady ran out of the store. OMG, look at this thing. Muzzle. She never had a muzzle before. This is the old lady carrying her little cats down the stairs. Outside, a pack of stray dogs began to chase her. Horns blared and tires screeched as Lady raced blindly through the streets across the railroad tracks and into a strange and scary part of town. <gasps> They're chasing little lady. Her heart pounding, Lady ran on with the strays yapping at her heels. Just when she felt she couldn't take another step, a brown ball of fur rushed to her side. Biting and barking, Tramp fought off Lady's attackers until every last one turned tail and slunk away. Oh, look at that. Tramp protected her. Oh. Oh. Tramp helped Lady remove the hateful muzzle, and then she told him her tale of woe. Hmm. Poor Pidge, he said when he had finished her story. When she had finished her story, you sure have a t you you sure have had a terrible day. What you need is a night out on the town to cheer you up. Tramp led Lady to a quaint little Italian restaurant, <laughs> where they shared a delicious plate of spaghetti and meatball meatballs while musicians serenaded them with romantic tune. Look at that! He took her out on a date. And they even got some live music played for them. A serenaded, serenation. <laughs> they got serenaded. Aw. After dinner, Lady and Tramp took a moonlight stroll. When they came to a patch of wet cement, Tramp snatched a big heart. He scratched a big heart in the middle and placed one of his paws inside. And Lady did the same. She put her paw inside. A silvery moon was high in the sky when the two tired dogs finally snuggled up under a tree and fell fast asleep. When they awoke the next morning, Lady was horrified to realize she had spent the whole night away from home. Oh, Pidge, Tramp said, there's a big wide world out there just waiting for us. Why go back at all? Because my family needs me, Lady replied, and I need them. Besides, who will protect the baby if I'm not there? Tramp had no answer for that. He simply bowed his head in defeat. And even though Lady was sad to leave Tramp, she could hardly wait to return to her family. 
Aww. <laughs> but when Lady got home and angry Aunt Sarah was waiting for her, I have a special place for you now, Aunt Sarah snapped as she led Lady to a doghouse in the backyard. <gasps> this should keep you out of trouble, she said, chaining Lady to a stake in the ground. That night, Lady was moping around the yard when a big gray rat scurried out of the woodpile, scampered up the porch railing, and darted into an upstairs window. That's the baby's room, Lady cried. She dashed forward but was jerked to a painful halt by her chain. Lady barked frantically to attract Aunt Sarah's attention. O-M-G. See, she saw the, the little rat go up in the room right there. See that little rat? Climbed in the window. Look at little lady. And lady is barking, trying to protect the baby. Aunt Sarah finally appeared at the back door, but only to yell at Lady. Stop that racket, she said before slamming the door again. Just then, Tramp raced into the yard. He had heard Lady barking and had come to help her once more. Aw, her hero. There's a rat in the baby's room, Lady said, and with no thought for his own safety, Tramp ran inside to get the rat. Tramp reached the nursery in the nick of time. The baby lay sleeping in the crib and the rat was ready to pounce on the baby. <gasps> Tramp struck first. Fur flew and furniture fell as dog and rat tore around the room. The rat was fast and fierce, but he was no match for Tramp. Tramp was getting him. Look at that. Ooh wee. Woo, got that rat. By the time Aunt Sarah burst in, there was no sign of the rat. Just tramp in the topsy-turvy room. So we all know what happened, right? Who got blamed? Hmm, yeah. Aunt Sarah thought that tramp had been after the baby and she quickly called the dog catcher. Don't come back, you vicious brute, Aunt Sarah warned as tramp was carried off to the pound. As soon as Lady explained what had happened, Trusty and Jock took off after Tramp. They chased the dog catcher through the dark and stormy night. When a taxi appeared out of the fog, the dog catcher's horses reared up and his wagon toppled over. Jim, dear, and darling were in the taxi. They had come home and discovered the rat. It was clear then that Tramp had been protecting the baby and they went after him. He was a true hero. Wow. Aw. Jim, Darren, Darling decided to take Tramp into their home. Aw. This is where you belong, Jim, dear, told Tramp. You're part of our family now. And soon Lady and Tramp had a family of their own. Look, 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 look. They had little puppies. Look at the little puppies. Look at little Tramp pulling on the on the clothes. Look at all. Three pretty pups who look just like their mother and one mischievous scramp, scamp who, who clearly took after his father. Aw. How cute is that? I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I know I did. You should watch the movie, the Disney movie. It's actually pretty cool. Really good. Aw. Lady and the Tramp, Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Let me introduce you to, I guess this is Baby Lady. Well, this is definitely Lady. Lady. She's got her slipper in her mouth. <laughs> Say hi to Lady. Hi. That's Lady. Oh. This guy's posing as Tramp. But thank you guys so much for being here and listening to me read fun and exciting books like Lady and the Tramp on this fun day Monday. Yeah. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Shout out to my mom who is always, always here. Thanks, mom. Thanks, cousin Patsy for always being here and bringing your kids. And um, 
Yeah. All five of them. And letting them listen to me read. And sh and thank you, Elliot and Victoria and Sheena G for sharing my videos all the time. I know some of you other people, some others share it too. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you. But they share my videos all the time. So special thanks to them. Shout out to my grandbabies again. Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Love, love, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So with that being said, thank you again for being here. Don't forget to click that like button. Don't forget to hit that share button. And don't forget to go to YouTube and smash, smash that subscribe button for me, you guys. Smash it up, punch it up, smack it up. <clears throat> smack that subscribe button for me. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow, right? Again, live, L-I-V-E, live at five tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow because it's only one day away. I will see you soon.